Anyway, here's the thing. Um, a group on Facebook called Reclaim Reddin. Reclaim Reddin. It's a, they're on. It's a group on Facebook, and I was part of it once. They kicked me out. Why? It's because I support Toby Robinson. Kid you not? It's true. Yes, and I read about it on Facebook. They're a left wing. Yeah. But the main goal is to get things working in Reading. Help each other out. So how is that helping each other out when you're um, bullying people that support other other people and other people's views? Doesn't un- don't understand that. It's like it's like um if you wanna like I am homeless people that's homeless. If somebody is um I don't know yeah easy if somebody. If you want to help homeless, and uh, somebody else wants to help help the homeless, but they support Tom Robinson, doesn't matter. You come to a common ground, work together, and it's simple. You don't just kick them out because they support somebody else. No. But here's the thing: what has Reclaim Reading done in Reading. What have they done? Let's think about it. Mental health. That's still a big issue. Big concern. Homeless. Ooh. Homeless. That's still a big issue. Um. What else? The rent in Reading for housing and that. That's still an issue. Um. There's also um, flats, houses, offices are being built. That's still an issue. Swimming pools are being closed down and turned into flats, offices and homes. Not doing really well, are you now, Reclaim Redding? If, if you're... If you're claiming to sort out these issues then you're not doing a good job are you no it's true now I can't message because they blocked me this is last year and yeah only because there's people in that group that think Tommy Robinson is racist and his supporters are violent. Now I've been to so many Tommy Robinson's demos, demos and believe me and this is from the heart I've met some wonderful people there and I've met and they have been helpful and kind. And then no way are they violent. I've met Tommy Robinson. Not one. Three times. Three times. I want to meet him again. (laughs) But no way. And I watch his videos and listen to him. And no way is he violent, aggressive, racist. No way. Tommy Robinson, racist. Show me the proof. On video. Stand in here. They reclaim Reading. The group. John Hoggett cannot show me proof, physical proof, that Tom Robinson and his supporters are violent and aggressive and racist. He cannot. So I think he should just mm, shut up. Even the other people that are claiming that we 
are racist, violent and aggressive, and Tommy is as well. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay? But my my issue is, what has Reclaim Redding ever done? What have they ever done? Okay, maybe they just heard a little noise, done a bit of noise here and there. That's all, a little bit. Not a lot, a little bit. Because if they done a lot, then we wouldn't be seeing all these... Um, we would be... We wouldn't be uh, hearing all these concerns of mental health or homeless or uh, the rise of the rent going up and more flats and less leisure places and swim pools are being demolished. No, we wouldn't be hearing all that. But no, they just make little noises, which is, yeah. My advice is, for Reclaim Reading, shut up, stop bullying people, and work together. You get things done more when you work together. It's true. You get things done more when you work together. That's all. So, Reclaim Reading, Peter Burt, John Hockett, zip. Shut up, stay on your computers, and read books. Because that's all you're good at. Okay? And shut up. Because you're not doing anything. You're not helping Reddin. You're not helping the people with Reddin as well, are you? No. So, shut up and leave. Let new people come on board and do something. And make Reddin what it used to be. A really good place. Okay? Anyway. Bye. Stay positive, people.